All right, in this video, we are going to explore this circle-related word problem. Um, a particular cell phone tower is designed to service a 12-mile radius. The tower is located at negative 35 on a coordinate plane whose units represent miles. What is the standard equation of the outer boundary of the region serviced by the tower? Is a cell phone user at 8,0 within the range of service? Explain. Well, here are some rough axes, and um, here is the point negative 3, comma, 5. Um, they asked us to write an equation, and uh, so given the radius, all right, because they, they said right there 12 mile radius, we should be able to write an equation easily. Um, in in uh, standard form, the equation goes like this. I'm going to put x plus 3, all right, because of that negative 3, I'm doing the opposite sign. And then I'm going to go y minus 5. Again, doing the opposite sign. This is positive, so I went negative with it. Then over here, we have to do the radius squared. So the radius is 12. That means in, in the equation, I will have 144. So this is the standard form equation of the uh, service area. All right, it's a circle. All right, and this circle would represent the service area um, at this center with a 12 mile radius. Okay, so we're saying that, um, you know, for example, I'll just put it diagonally. I could have put it anywhere. This distance is a distance of 12 miles in every direction. So, a user at 8 comma 0, is that person going to be within um, the uh, coverage area? So the question really is, it's sort of like asking um, where 8 comma 0 is in this picture. Is 8 comma 0 going to fall here maybe? Is this 8 comma 0? Or does 8 comma 0 fall here? Right? Which one of these two is it? Will it fall inside or will it fall outside? Um, and I think uh, using the distance formula would be good. Alright, so let's do the distance formula between the center and this point that we're interested in. I'll put it right in the middle because I don't know if it's going to be inside or outside. Or maybe it's dead on. So we'll have to make adjustments. Um, in fact, just as a compromise, for now, let's imagine that it's right on the circle. Um, so let's use the distance formula. And um, if uh, the distance from the center to the point is greater than 12, then we'll know that it's outside. If the distance is less than 12, you know, because the radius of the circle is definitely 12, then it will be within the uh, coverage area. So the distance formula, all right, is the square root of, and I'm going to do x minus x, all right, because in fact, here's the distance formula. It's x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. OK, so x minus x, so that's 8 minus negative 3. All right, I could have put 8 plus 3. And then y minus y, so that's 0 minus 5 squared. This will give us the distance between. Um, now, you could type this whole thing in your calculator, or just to make a point. Um, if you're good at your calculations, it might be easier just to do it by hand. Let's see, 8 minus negative 3, so I've got 8 minus negative 3. But if you're bad at your calculations, then uh, you're going to want to use your calculator. 0 minus 5. Right, I really feel silly writing that. Because it's definitely just going to be 0. Minus 5 is negative 5. Okay. 
So I got 146, radical 146. And um, if I toggle this, I get 12.08. All right. Should I write this down? All right, so this was 146. So this distance turned out to be 12.08 miles. So that means this point is just a little bit bigger. You know, this distance is a little bit bigger than the radius, which is 12 miles. This is like 12.1 miles. So that's going to put it just barely outside the circle. That's why it was so hard to tell. Okay. So, is a cell phone user within the service range? No. So, having done these calculations, you can say the cell phone user is outside the service range. The distance from the center to the cell phone is larger than the radius of the coverage area. 12.08 miles versus 12 miles. Kabam! One day, you'll be as awesome as me.